Today I want to talk about kindling. Now a lot of people like to put a lot of work into their kindling, but I'm not really about that. What I like to do is after I've done a decent amount of splitting, maybe it's been a few weeks since we've had rain like it is today, we're looking to get some rain so I wanted to get out here and get working on this, but I just like to utilize what I've already created. When splitting, whether you're using a splitter or splitting by hand, you're gonna have shards of wood come off of your logs. You're gonna have bark that can even work pretty well too, as long as it's dry. Essentially, you're gonna end up with a lot of pieces that will work really well for your kindling. If you do have some awkward chunks from when you're cutting your logs, ones that are like this, there may be a, a six inch or an eight inch piece and not long enough to be split and stacked like your normal lumber. Uh, those are great candidates for splitting up into smaller chunks and keeping those as you're kindling. I had some extra space on the, the front of this woodshed here, and so I've stacked along the front some different pieces to keep them off the ground. Those I kind of keep here, and if I need them in the winter time, I will come out and grab a few, split them, and keep them near the wood stove to help them dry out. I've got several dead ash trees here just behind the woodshed. So after a good storm or every few weeks when I'm out mowing, I'll stop if I see any decent sized limbs and I'll gather those up. And what I like to do is take our chicken feed bags and I will just fill these with any kindling I find. So any sticks I find, I'll just break these into shorter pieces that fit easily into my bags. And I'll take any uh, other chunks of logs that I have here and I'll just go ahead and fill my bags with those. And then I just take those bags and I put them in my shed or in my garage and I let them sit in there until winter time. But overall, I don't feel efficient when I'm sitting around and splitting kindling, but kindling is definitely needed. And when it's right here and all you have to do is pick it up, I think it's worth it to spend a little time doing that, especially if you can leave it for a little while and let it kind of dry out on its own and then collect it. If you have rain coming, I would recommend picking up whatever you can before that. And then anything you've picked over, another thing you can do with those scraps is go ahead and collect those up and use them as mulch. One final way that I would recommend getting kindling or getting those fires started is as you're bringing in your wood, look for pieces kind of like this where they've got the bark loosened. And you can peel those pieces of bark off as you're stacking and just set those aside. You can also look for other pieces that perhaps had more of these fragments coming off from when you were splitting. Leave those on when you stack it, but then whenever you bring it inside, put it next to the stove, pull those pieces off, set those to the side, and that's another easy source of kindling without just sitting around and, and splitting it. But I found from collecting those, that kindling while I'm splitting, and then pulling off chunks like this from pieces of wood as I bring them in, I never run out of the kindling I need. So I hope this has been helpful and hope I save you some time with this. Thanks for watching.